Hey guys, this is TMF Style. I'm Jose Zuniga, and for this week's style video, I want to talk about a fit guide. So we got this email from one of our viewers where he was asking what was the difference between slim fit, tailored fit, or modern fit? And that's actually a very good question because I actually struggle with that a lot. So I won't focus too much on the loose and bootcut fit because that's fits that I don't use and, and I don't promote and I don't like how they look. So I'll just be focusing on those three. There's also regular fit, which regular fit is more of that straight cut or straight cut that's, so regular and straight cut are kind of used interchangeably sometimes. And all that is is just, you know, basically a straight cut. Uh, again, that's not a fit that I like too much. I usually, when I do get straight cut, I end up tailoring the bottom. So I'm gonna talk about the last three fits. So now that I'm into the clothing business and I'm you know, working on manufacturing, I actually know a lot more than what I did before. And basically all that is, all, it's allowance. How much allowance is, is in each fit? The hard part is to compare it on different brands. So for example, getting a slim fit from, let's say Abercrombie, which is known for you know, very tight stuff, and then getting a slim fit from, let's say, Levi jeans, it's gonna be completely different. The Levi jeans is obviously gonna fit a little bit looser, and it's still gonna be very tight, but it's gonna be looser than the Abercrombie. So it's very hard to compare from two different brands. What you need to do is to focus on one brand and then notice what the difference is. Usually, if you go online, they will give you a size guide on what their sizes are, what's the differences in size guide. So all that really is is allowance. But as a general rule, you know, skinny, I would always avoid because all skinny is is skinny tight stuff unless you're very very skinny even then though I, I still would avoid it because even really skinny people that wear skinny jeans just make them look even skinnier you know so I would avoid skinny at all costs so skinny all it is is very tight stuff it, and it's like that in almost all the brands so skinny I would avoid you're basically left with slim fit tailored or modern fit slim fit it's almost bordering skinny slim fit I would only really suggest it to people that are very skinny and you know very very skinny because it'll probably fit them good if you're not skinny you, you know you're basically average weight avoid slim fit because slim fit is just gonna make you look like you're wearing skinny you know so slim fit is usually the, the tightest fit on almost any brand then you have tailored and modern now usually a brand will only have tailored or modern it's very rare to find a brand that has you know skinny slim fit tailor modern fit you know it's usually three types which is skinny slim fit and then it's either tailored or modern because usually what i've always noticed is that tailored and modern fit is used very interchangeably and all tailored and modern fit is it's basically slim fit with a little bit more allowance you know so the midsection is not going to be as tapered and i usually tend to go for the tailored or modern fit um, reason being is because like I've explained in a lot of my videos is I usually have a big drop you know for example in my waist so I buy something that's a little bit that will fit me a little bit better and then all I do is I tailor it in and I do that with the pants as well so if I buy jeans I usually go for a modern fit or a tailored fit something like that and then all I do is bring down the bottom to a, a more and more tailored fit so I have a nice allowance on the top and then bring it down on the bottom so I usually like to go with modern and tailored because it gives you more allowance more fabric and then you can just tailor down to your liking you know and slim fit and skinny you have no allowance you have no extra fabric and you can't tailor down you actually need to tailor out and that's, that can be a lot harder than tailoring it tailoring in. So that's basically the, the guide. I hope that video was helpful and I hope it, it kind of explained a little bit. You know, again, it's very hard to compare two different brand sizing. You need to stick to one brand and look at their size guide and then go into another brand and don't expect their size guide to be the exact same size guide from another brand because they'll be using two different things. So I hope that video was helpful. I hope that helps you shop a little better. If it was, remember to hit the like up button. Also subscribe. Put up two videos every week. Thank you for watching. I just